The top 12 symptoms of Omicron. That's what we are talking about today. As you can expect, Omicron or our COVID-19 newest variant which has been causing the fourth wave in India and many parts of the world has a lot of symptoms that overlap with the common cold, sometimes with allergies and now with us being in the monsoons, a lot of nasal symptoms that people attribute to the season. So it becomes very important for us to recognize what the signs and symptoms of COVID are in the Omicron wave. So this is Dr. Sitesh Roy, your super specialist in allergy, asthma and immunology coming to you with this video. Friends, the commonest presenting symptom these days is a sore throat. That's usually how it begins. Uh, we're talking about a pharyngitis that may be the upper or lower part of the throat. Along with this, very often there is a sneezing, runny nose, nasal congestion which can come up at various time points in the infection. There can also be cough, which can be dry or wet. Generally, people are not experiencing breathlessness, but it can be present in some cases. There is fever in most people, but some people do go through the entire infection without fever. The fever is short lasting. It generally gets over in one to three days and it does not tend to be very high, but can reach even up to 103 or 104 degree Fahrenheit. So recognizing this is also very helpful. There can definitely be fatigue and a feeling of tiredness. There can also be body ache or body pain and muscle aches which can be present through this viral infection. Quite a few people are having gastrointestinal symptoms, symptoms related to the stomach and digestion such as feeling abdominal pain, having diarrhea, having loss of appetite, once in a while having nausea or vomiting. With these symptoms also, which are quite unique to Omicron, uh, they were also present as we know in the Delta and the Alpha variant of COVID-19. We do need to recognize that this is what we are dealing with. It's important to recognize this because then you can do the rapid antigen test or you can go in for the RT-PCR, which is more accurate. Recognize that once you know that you are infected, you need to isolate for a minimum of five day period till you are fever free for one day or even up to seven or ten days if you are still symptomatic or your repeat test after five days comes negative. This way you can protect your family, you can protect your friends, you can protect your people at your workplace and really uh, take good care of yourself because how do you manage this? The key still lies in RRR. No, I'm not talking of the blockbuster movie. I'm talking about rest, relaxation and rejuvenation, giving your body time to heal. Hydration is critical. Supportive medications are available. And you also can do steam inhalation or salt, hot salt water gargling and other supportive care while taking a light, healthy, nutritious diet that's easy to digest. And that way you can beat this infection and come out of it. People often ask, but if we've taken the vaccines, can we still get it? The vaccines are not protecting against Omicron as well as they did through the previous waves with the Delta and other variants. Also recognize that after having had just the Omicron infection in January or February this year, people are still experiencing the infection again because the immunity wanes within a three to six month period from a previous infection. So, these are very important points and recognizing them and taking good care of yourself. You can be safe and you can keep yourself and family safe. So till the next video where we talk about long COVID because if you don't do the RRR, then you put yourself at risk for long COVID even more. We shall talk about what long COVID is and how to deal with it. Till the next time, take care, stay safe, stay immune. God bless us all.